All right, today I'm going to go over the measurement and geometry two review. The four questions. First question is find the surface area of a square base pyramid with height five and side length of base three centimeters. So that's what I've drawn here. Okay, in order to find surface area, we find the area of this square at the bottom, which is just three, a three by three square. And then I need to find all of the areas of these four triangles right here. Uh, four times the area of the triangle. In order to find this triangle, I'll need this green segment right here, the height of that triangle, which is the slant height of the pyramid. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to have to use this right triangle here and apply the Pythagorean theorem to it. The height is going to be 5. The distance from here to here is going to be 1.5 because it's half of a side length of the square. Then I apply the Pythagorean theorem, and I get that that slant height is 5.22. That slant height that you see there in green represents the height of any one of these four triangles. And so you can just plug in your 5.22 in for that, and you end up with a surface area of this square base pyramid of 40.3 square centimeters. Okay, in problem number two, they're asking us to find the volume of a cone with a radius 8 and a slant height of 10. Okay. Our formula for volume of a cone is one-third base area times height, and with anything round, in this case the circle, circular base, the area is going to be pi r squared, okay? And I already know the radius. The radius is 8. Now, what, where the hard part comes in is i got to figure out what this height of this cone is right here. So I will remove that right triangle and put it right here, and I will put this length of 8 and that Hypotenuse is 10, slant height is the hypotenuse, and then I just use my Pythagorean theorem here, and that's going to give me h equals 6. Once I get h equals 6, I can plug it back in for height, and I get an exact value of 128 pi centimeters cubed, which is approximately 402.1 cubic centimeters. For problem number three here, they're giving us a composite figure here with a rectangular prism and a half sphere on top of it. Now, the volume part is pretty easy, especially with these kind of figures, because all you got to do is find the volume of the prism and add the volume of the half sphere. The only tricky part is figuring out the radius. Now, we know this base has to be a square, because that's the only way a half sphere will fit in it so perfectly. And because uh, it's a square, that's 8 by 8, that means the radius here is going to have to be 4. So we know that. Now, let's go to our volume formulas. Volume of a prism plus volume of the half sphere. Prism is 8 by 8 by 6. The volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed, and we have half of that. And the radius is now 4, so just plug that in, and that'll get you the volume. That's pretty easy. Surface area, when I have a problem like this to deal with surface area, usually what I do is I, I try to visualize building it from the ground up. So at the bottom here, we have a square. And then, in addition to that square, we have four of these rectangles, and they're all 8 by 6 rectangles. So we have a square, then we have four rectangles, then we have this little bit right in here to build this thing, right around there. And that area right there is going to be the square minus the area of that circle. And then the last thing we got to do is we got to add the area of that half sphere. Well, a half sphere is going to be 4 pi r squared, and we're just going to multiply it by 0.5, or take a half of it. So the square is 8 by 8, the rectangles are 8 by 6, and we have 4 of them. Square minus circle is 8 times 8 minus pi r squared, and the half sphere is going to be 1 half 4 pi 4 squared. And at this point, you could put this whole thing into your calculator and get your answer, or you can simplify it a little bit further and come down to this exact value right here and then go into your calculator, but either way, you're going to get 370.3 centimeters squared for the surface area, 518 cubic centimeters for the volume. Okay, for this fourth and final problem, we have a cylinder inside of a cylinder. So, volume again is going to be pretty straightforward. You just take the volume of the big cylinder, subtract out the volume of the small cylinder, and that'll give you the volume of this 3D object. Okay, now in order to do that, we're going to need the radius of the big cylinder, which is going to be 3, since the diameter is 6. And we're going to need the radius of the small cylinder, which is 2, and that's given to us. And notice I labeled these variables R sub B and R sub S, because they're actually two different radii. 
but I'll let H be the same because the height of the big cylinder and the height of the small cylinder are the same. And you just plug in your numbers, you get 40 pi exactly, which is approximately 125.7 cubic centimeters. Now again, surface area is quite a bit harder. Now again, what I suggest you do, and you cannot just take the surface area of the big cylinder, subtract the surface area of the small cylinder. That is not going to work. That's not going to tell you how much material you need to, to build this thing. So I work from the bottom up. And on the bottom, we have what looks to be a circle inside a circle. So I'm going to create that little flat donut there by doing the area of the big circle minus the area of the small circle. Then I'm going to need the outside of this thing, which is just the lateral area of the big circle. And then the inside of this thing, if I'm going to need to paint it, that's part of the surface area. Okay, that's the lateral area of the small cylinder. And that should say cylinder, not circle. Okay, and then finally up at the top again, we have the same circle minus circle that we had on the bottom. So I could have just done two times this, or I'll just add it again at the end here. Okay, then I know the values of R and the values of H for all of these, and those are the only numbers you need. The big circle is pi times three squared. The small circle is pi times two squared. The lateral area is two pi R H. So for the outside lateral area, two pi three eight. For the inside lateral area is 2 pi 2, which is this radius right here, times 8. And then again, I have area of the big circle minus area of the small circle. Simplify that, and I end up with 9 pi minus 4 pi plus 48 pi plus 32 pi plus 9 pi minus 4 pi, which is 90 pi. And again, you could, even at this stage, just go ahead and plug all that into your calculator or do some simplifying to find the exact value and then go to your calculator. The approximate value then is 282.7 square centimeters, volume 125.7 cubic centimeters.